what you're seeing in front of you, if you are, I don't know if you are using Dynamics daily, but the marketing module for Microsoft, which is now also, it's going to add a bit to the confusion because actually it's now called Customer Insights um, Journeys. So Microsoft renamed this beginning of October and you now have, if you are going to be looking for any other videos or demos or any learning material about Dynamics Marketing, you need to be looking for Customer Insights Journeys. Okay, so Microsoft added it to a new SKU which is good news because it does mean that something that a lot of organizations do when it comes to Microsoft's marketing modules is they usually will get um, this insights journeys part first, which is marketing. Let's send emails to people. Let's put them in journeys. And then that will usually be followed um, by customer insights, which has always been called customer insights, but is now called customer insights data and what that helps you do is it actually creates a profile for each of the people that you're marketing to so it tries to give you that 360 degree profile and allows you to plug into different systems like a telephony system uh, uh, maybe a, like a, an app that you're using different things that will help you get a better picture to be on we do have some customers that do that but to be honest with a lot of the changes made to the Dynamics Marketing or Customer Insights module, um, there is a lot that you're getting already that helps you to build up that profile. So I, I think there's a lot of features that I'll take you through today that will be pretty useful for you. Um, so what I like to focus on when we do these demos is usually just go through some of the main questions that, are, that we get from marketeers. Uh, and so you can actually see if you are using other systems at the moment, uh, or you are running certain campaigns, what would that look like within the Customer Insights Journeys module? And one of the first things that I usually get or that usually people touch on is just, how will I see what I'm busy doing? So you might have different campaigns that you are running at the moment. Those will have different elements, like there might be email, there might be SMS, you might be breaking people down into different segments. Um, you might be giving tasks to different team members and you might also be using certain tools like Google Analytics to show you what are the results of all of my marketing efforts and that would be showing you at a very high level and enabling you to drill down. Um, so when it comes to customer insights journeys, you also get insights, so things that you can track and what Microsoft changed recently, actually the beginning of October, but something that they've been developing over the last two to three years is you can see this trial that I spun up here is only actually giving me real time journeys. So people who launched uh, before October with their marketing module still have outbound features and that's what Microsoft called their normal if you think of a MailChimp, sending um, emails via MailChimp, that's what they call their features that are not focused on real time. So the benefit is if you launch with Dynamics Marketing now, what you get is the system is continuously mining. So if you have certain journeys, if you have certain segments where you said, I want everybody that clicks this button to be added onto this, or you sent emails recently, it's not just um, looking for people's behavior at certain points during the day and refreshing it, but those insights are continuously refreshing to help make sure that if you are pulling a segment on people who yesterday opened my email or two months ago clicked on a link, any segment that you're pulling is giving you the most real-time information that you can get at that point in time, and then it can keep mining that data and keep refreshing it for you. 